The Morro Bay Estuary, jewel of the Central Coast, provides a beautiful place to live and work, as well as a tourist attraction for thousands of visitors each year. Keeping the bay healthy is essential. A healthy bay provides clean waters for safe swimming, boating, and fishing, and protects natural habitats for many species of marine life. Each month, the Morro Bay National Estuary Program's volunteers collect water samples from sites along the bay shoreline and from local creeks to check for indicator bacteria. These bacteria indicate the presence of illness-causing pathogens. The map shows the eight sites around the bay where monthly monitoring takes place. The locations colored in green are places where bacterial contamination is rarely detected. The locations in yellow have elevated bacteria levels in 15 to 25 percent of samples, which indicate times when the waters may not be safe for swimming. How does bacteria get into the bay? Bacteria in the bay is caused by uh, natural sources. Um, sometimes mammals or birds can cause bacteria in the bay, but it's also caused by human activities. Unlike um, natural occurring bacteria from mammals or wildlife, um, human-caused bacteria is a controllable source. Basically when stormwater runs, when it rains and stormwater runs off the land and washes out into the creeks and into the bay, it does that through a storm drain. And those storm drains don't go through any sort of treatment process. They go directly into the bay. So everything that you put on the ground or leave on the ground gets washed into the bay. During storms, rain runoff carries dirt, oil, fertilizer, and trash from our driveways, streets, and yards into storm drains. From there, the polluted waters flow untreated into the bay. What can you do to prevent bacteria and other pollutants from reaching the bay? Fix oil leaks in your vehicles. Pick up trash. Monitor what goes down your drains. And don't forget to pick up after your pets. An average dog creates three and a half pounds of waste per week. With more than 5,500 dogs in Morro Bay and Los Osos, that's over nine and a half tons of waste per week. Luckily, Mutt Mitt's program provides bags for you to conveniently pick up after your dogs throughout the watershed. And 15 years ago, very few dog owners were picking up after themselves. When the Muttnet program was instituted and we started participating in it, in a couple of years, the ethic really changed. And, and today, almost every dog owner picks up after themselves. 15 years, I've stuffed three quarters of a million of these Muttnets in just two dispensers in one city park. The Mutt Mitts program is a partnership between the Morro Bay National Estuary Program and the City of Morro Bay, supported by donations from the community. Yeah, so I've always considered the Mutt Mitt program to be one of the most uh, effective uh, volunteer efforts in Morro Bay. For a small amount of money and a small amount of volunteer time, you're making a major impact on water quality. So, do your part to protect our bay. A healthy bay benefits us all. Yeah.